Perfect. You're all set. Simon. Yeah, Simon.
Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Good morning, all. Good morning. God has visited us through his grace, his presence, and God is with us. He is among us, and he leads us to do what makes God's kingdom to be present here. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshy people, as infants in Christ, I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another 
I belong to Apollos. Are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all? And what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Our response is, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth, he who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield, for in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Because of this purpose, I have been sent. And he was preaching to the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. A farmer had two pots, clay pots. You know, clay, have you seen anybody clay pots? Okay, 
I am sure. So, the clay pots he used for carrying water to a field of lot of trees. So, he used to carry them every morning, every evening he would carry them. And one of the pots had a very small hole so the water would drip out, am I right? If you pour water with a pot, the pot as a hole, it's going to drip out. So that's what happened. So when he carried the, the pot with water, he would carry the morning and the water will drip out along the way. And it happened the same day, the, in the evening too. So it, this was going on for a long time. And the pot has, did not have any hole, it was perfect pot. It says, I am the perfect one. The pot that has small hole it was so sad. Oh, I cannot be like that. I am not doing my, what my master, the man who is carrying the pot, you know. My master wants me to do that. I am drifting all the waters, almost half of the water that I have is on the way. It was so sad and gloomy, oh, I am not carrying all the water. One day, a sparrow was just flying around. It happened to sit on the top of the pot that has had a small hole. And, the, and it noticed, the sparrow noticed, oh, the pot is so sad. Let me ask, what happened to you? You are so sad. That the weak pot said, oh, I have a small hole in me. I am not doing what my, what my master wants me to do. The sparrow told, well, don't be sad. You are doing great. You see, you may be drifting water on the way, but along the way you see lot of plants, lot of flowers, they are happy. You see, the water is drifting. The water is drifting and he is taking both parts. The one side or the other side, many plants have come up and they are blooming lot of flowers. So the sparrow told, you should be happy because you are doing great thing. You are giving life to so many people, even though you are weak, even though you feel like you are broken, even though you think that you are not useful, but you are doing great thing for many people. See the plants, they are blooming, they are so happy and healthy. And that's what Jesus did. He did all good things wherever he went. He didn't, he didn't stop anywhere. No matter how the person is so bad, how, how the person is not cooperating, but Jesus did all good things. And that's what Jesus wants you and me to do good thing every day to everyone. So do, let us not show any unkind word, any unkind acts or words. Let us not show uncharitable things to anyone. Let us be kind and do good things. Doing good things is doing God's will. Doing God's will is to grow to be holy. So if that is so, let us not get tired of doing good things in our lives. So be good and avoid evil. <clears throat> Let us pray all our needs and petitions to God our Father. 
for all those who are sick, that the healing anoint of God's love bring them peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who care for the sick, that they have the compassion of the Father, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who seek the forgiveness of God, that they have the courage to repent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in the health care profession, that they attend to the healing of both body and soul, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bertha Gottemeller is being especially remembered at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask all things with our faith and with your graces. Lord, bless us and make us to be strong. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for the goodness which is the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God. God forever. Go ahead. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for the goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may accept God Almighty Father. May the Lord's sacrifice our hands for praise and glory of his name for our good and glory of the church. May these sacred offerings, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly contemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God our host, host. Heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles Thompson, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bertha Gardamiller, whom you call from this world to yourself, Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him 
in his resurrection remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint vincent de paul our patron and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our father, father who art, art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom and the power, the power and the Lord glory are yours now Lord. and forever Lord Jesus Christ who such your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not our sins but the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you all always and with your spirit lamb of god you take away the sins of the world mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy, mercy on, on us lamb, lamb of god, god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God Behold him who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy to should enter under my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed
how great is the goodness, O Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may conform our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, all the kids, you did really good and you are so prayerful. Thank you. And I really appreciate and thank all the teachers too. I thank Deacon Dave and our good servers. They helped us too. Have a blessed day today. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel. Be our protected against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.